Introduce you. Hey, look at here what we got in the house. Ray Giles, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. How about you there, Miss Sandy Harden? Well, I'm, uh, you know, roaming around with this Roman buddy of mine, the camera. Oh. So I thought we'd get you get you on the film while you're over here and got your belly full. And um, It's been a long time, hasn't it? It's been a while. It's been a couple of weeks anyways. Yeah, a couple yeah. weeks. I think well, it's... you know, you, the years, they, they go by kind of quick. But weeks, they kind of take the time. Yes, they do. <laughs> well, lay something new on me. It's brand new, fresh off the pencil, and uh, because she couldn't give me her heart. Smiles at me in the morning. Brown eyes shining bright. She sips a cup of coffee as we talk in the early light. She loved me every way that a man could want. She loved me this way from the very start. I tried to tell her how it feels To wonder if her love was real To hear her say I'm the only one Would help to ease this path I'm on Just can't stop this pain I feel inside Even when I hold her close at night Good job, Ray Giles. Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, what have you been doing anyway? Tell me some stories. Well, Tell me a story. I've been just playing music, playing on the streets of Broadway like I normally do. We're over here in front of Groom's Guitar just off 4th Avenue. And uh, I've been doing that for about 11 years in that spot right now. I'll be going on 11 years this year. And uh, I don't know, the stories tell you. you Old John Rich come by one day, and is he, that right? Yeah, he was. He had his little posse with him that he that he come by with, and he uh, his little gal. I was singing the Keith Whitley, "Don't Close Your Eyes," and this little gal in this posse, she started singing that song, standing next to me, and she just. So I started harmonizing, and she did good. She stayed on her line and didn't try to follow me around as some people do, and uh, which makes harmonizing hard to do sometimes because they don't know how to do it. And, uh, but John stopped and he just crossed his arms and he leaned back over and stopped his people. And he said to her, he said, uh, I got done playing and we got done with the song. He said, tell you what, he said, pack your stuff. He said, the bus is down the road, come on the bus, play some music. And hand me a hundred dollar bill. Hey. And, uh, you know what, I've been playing Nashville a long time and, and, and I'm going to tell you right now, he's the first one to stop by and actually talk to me and and, 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 and give me a nice tip. I mean, I've been tipped before by plenty of people, but he's actually, you know, and he asked me to come in his bus and he left the bodyguard with me to help me get my stuff. And that's what he said. He said, you help him. You get his what he needs. Went down to the bus and we just had a good old time. I picked a couple of songs. Didn't even know where the bus was moving. That's how good his driver was. And uh, we was at his house before you know it and he, he liked one of my songs. He didn't like one. He just, uh, he didn't, I didn't say he didn't like it. He just wasn't something he was looking for. He just cut it off kind of quick. And, and I got the song, The Day No All and Learn to Cry. And he said he'd like to put that on an album. He said it this way. He said he'd, he'd, he'd like to do a little work with it. But he said then all of a sudden you knocked me off my stool with total brilliance. And I said, well, you know, that's all an awful nice thing for somebody to say. And I know he's... He's kind of guy that speaks his mouth, so he, you know, what he says comes out of his mouth is what he means, and I, I thought that was pretty, pretty, pretty special. Yeah, um, I mean that is, but and this business is about building relationships. So you have now a relationship with somebody that when you get yourself a song mm -hmm. and you think it might just be something, you know who to go to. It's all it, it, it's. Hopefully that means that it gets past the front door, let's put it that way, and, and 
uh, at least I, you know, and plus you have a have a different respect for it, and you know, he just he, you know, hey, I, I've got a, I've got an opinion of him now, and it's a pretty good one. That's good. That's good. You can never have too many friends, Ray. No, and I don't even think you know when you get up there where he's at that you you know you you still you know you respect is earned. You can't buy respect. You got you you, you got to earn that. You might be able to buy yourself an album, but respect is is uh, and everybody knows me down there, and I've known a lot of people been playing in Nashville close to twenty years now, and. Um, They've all heard that story, I promise you. <laughs> well, listen, I heard some uh, scuttlebutt about you. I heard you're going to start a new business. Well, yeah, I'm doing a, uh, a new thing called Bye Bye Biz. It's B-Y-E-B-Y-E-B-I-Z dot com. And uh, the website is not open yet, but it's soon to be. Uh, you can uh, find out more by writing info at Bye Bye Biz dot com. And... Uh, I, um, it's the advertised businesses that are going out of business, fire sales, flood sales, before we know about flood sales, and uh, and and whatever. It, it could be just a regular old clearance sale. Where are, you, where are all the scratch and dip businesses in your hometown? I mean, most of you don't know, and, and I'm the same way. I don't know what's for sale here in Nashville, and I've been here a long time. And, uh, but Bye Bye Business is fixing to make that a whole lot easier for you. It's free to get on. It's free to list your business. And, and um, you know, we'll just info at Bye Bye Business and I'll, I'll hook you up with what we're going on. It's fixing to open pretty quick here. Well, yeah. good deal. That sounds kind of interesting. It's, I know, you know, now you know I'm an artist and I'm mm -hmm. always looking for those scratch and dance because mm -hmm. one man's treasure, like trash is another man's treasure. But uh, that can, sounds really interesting. I, I wish you all the luck in the world with that. Well, thank you. Um, so, where are you going to be playing uh, anytime soon? Anywhere that that the general public can come and uh, view upon and hear hear your uh, your work? Well, Miss Sandy, it's, it's like this. I, I play downtown Nashville. That's uh, I'll be doing it more and more often now that the summers come up, and and uh, uh, it's. Uh, right off Broadway on 4th Avenue, it's right in front of Groon's Guitar, uh, which is the world's most famous guitar shop. It's, uh, he's a, he's, and I've been playing in his doorway now for, like I said, near, it'll be going on 11 years this year I've been playing in his doorway. And, uh, Manly Mike and myself, we switch up all the time and he plays there until, uh, about 6.30 and I take over and do the night shift and we're kind of like Fred and Barney at the at the Bedrock Quarry, you know, we, hello Fred, hey Barney, and uh, we see each other and we've been doing this and Manly Mike's been playing downtown uh, of, of the street musicians, he's the longest one, he's got about 15 years there doing that and I'm, and I'm pushing 11, I'm the, I'm the second in seniority. And uh, ever since, uh, 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 oh, Lord, I'm going to say Pearl is his name. And uh, he, he passed away a couple of years ago. We used to play on 2nd Avenue, old blues player. And and, uh, and when he went on, it, it put me into the second spot and Mike into the first spot. So Well, you know, I can't think of another place, really. I'm sure there are other places, but that is probably one of the most uh, visual places that a person could play. You know what's nice about it is that I can pack up and go anytime I want to. I, I'm, I'm not stuck there playing, but I don't. I just love it. I get to meet the tourists one-on-one. -on -one. You come over, get your picture made with me, and, and do whatever. You sing along with me if I, you know, I. I <laughs> Uh, I, I get to meet the kids, I get to meet everybody, and I get to meet them out there. Uh, it's a one-on-one -on -one thing, and um, I play mostly cover when I'm out there. I don't, uh, just, just, you know, you're, if you're going to make it in this business, you're going to play cover songs. And, uh, uh, but it's just they, when they stop and talk to me, and I find out where they're from, and then we get going, this, the question comes over there, what do you play when you're at home? And then I get to show them my stuff, and, and that's what, and they come like, why ain't you playing in the clubs? Because I don't have to sell drinks. And, because uh, every time, trust me, when I played the honky-tonks, 
Every time you say holler, swallow, or something like that, every young kid in that place takes their drink. And I just won't do that no more. Well, that's great. I mean, um, I'm so happy you came to see me. Well, I'm glad you come back to Tennessee. To, yeah. Um, well, I had to go take care of some, you know, some pretty heavy business, but uh, life does go on, and um, and we try to do the best that we can. So uh, we do have summer coming up, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to get to know Ray Giles, you will find him right where he said on, on Broadway in Nashville. Mm -hmm. So we'll be talking to you soon again. Well, thank you. God bless y'all.